And today, in Tori, I want to show how to animate uh, characters in Tori uh, with new IK system and um, and then export to Unity and using uh, standard Unity Humanoid system for transfer animation between uh, different skin meshes. And for example, I take a model from Sketchfab when Stancy, okay, and you can take these models on your scene or you can uh, use options spawn options uh, to spawn at center, for example. Yes, now we have this model and we can move, change posing and make something else. And for start, I want I want show I want make um, a looking uh, classical game idle and uh, looking animation in Twitter. And I think more correct if we set up this character by this uh, blue line. It's a forward vector and right vector. And yeah. And what's next? Uh, now, if you, we try to animate this character, uh, it's maybe uh, need to make um, much steps to set posing and animate. But you can use new animation, new IK system for animate this, and for add IK system uh, to any skin mesh, um, you need to use our context menu on bonus. Uh, for leg IK, you need uh, touch to toy bone, bone and press this uh, button, long press, to open context menu. And in this context menu, we have some options to for bonus, and one of these is IK, IK actions, and you can create leg IK. Yes, but you can see what's our leg. Uh, very strange, very buggy. Uh, it is because uh, this uh, mesh have a very don't have an angle for for this leg, and we can set up little angle between this bonus uh, to point for our system uh, vector for for this uh, leg and yes you can add this to this leg and I think need add something like this to arm okay and now we can add uh, leg IK and then it's work more perfect perfect yeah cool nice and we add leg IK to this and now if I try move hip uh, these legs stay staying on the floor and okay working okay next uh, arm we can animate arm by rotation it's a classical uh, fk for kinematic animation but i think we also can use ik system for uh, arm and for arm you can use two ik uh, variants First, it's arm IK and, for example, simple IK. Uh, what's different? Simple IK uh, applying only for this bonus without additional um, additional um, logic to other bonus. It's simple uh, animate this bonus. You cannot uh, rotate hand by this control, and uh, our color bone uh, also don't rotating don't moving and if i add uh, arm key i can rotate this hand by con this control and also you can see this line uh, represented uh, color bond joint and if i move this control to up uh, you can see what's this color bond also rotated a little bit up from this controller automatically yes and it's more natural uh, for example if we up this arm we have a uh, hard angle 
and in this we can have more natural uh, poles for carbon. Uh, yes. And we can delete this and add also army key. Cool, nice. And now we can set up uh, first pose. Oh, I make undo and for this arm. Now on the need now you need to apply uh, armor key on first bonus bone uh, in the hand and not on hand on next bone and we change it in future but right now need apply on first bone of finger um, okay and also we have a goal to control arm it's uh, not a uh, goal in world space it's uh, only control to change uh, rotation angle around by this ik vector invisible line you can rotate around this invisible line yeah and it's uh, very good to fast animate but if you need uh, more control you can uh, switch this um, control to classical goal and this goal uh, have link to road position and sometimes it's very helpful but in our case we switch to procedural uh, mode nice okay and yeah we have our first uh, idle pose and we can open our timeline our timeline you can find in this uh, main menu and in our timeline we have a uh, two mode real time and out k mode and also you can uh, select the mode um, to apply case on uh, bonus uh, you can use our body part or full body mode i show it soon and we have a camera camera it's like a, a clip you can play animation inside this uh, camera for it you need to uh, activate this to see animation inside this uh, camera uh, in out zone and you can add some new cameras for example from our object shelf it's only for control this uh, animation zones for example one uh, maybe two maybe three yeah and you can set up to each cameras different zone uh, for example and and then you can play animation inside this camera in loop uh, next camera and next and then export each uh, uh, timeline duration zone to uh, different fbx files okay try to uh, make uh, first animation like a simple idle to this uh, first uh, zone you, we try using to real-time animation sometimes it's more fast and impressive for example little movements for body we take this hip and move yeah and now we have first our animation and we can um, stop first pause and if i select this uh, character uh, i see only one track mixama rig hip track and uh, i recommend use uh, full body with after key to create a uh, first uh, key to all, all bonus for all tracks and in final also yes and then we can add some games for example for arm to add little movements and maybe this and not in first frame maybe in this frame yes and head cool and check it 
yeah, cool, nice. We have the first animation, and uh, then we can ex make a next animation. Also, I recommend use you can switch between uh, these camera clips by this uh, screen. And now we next, for example, from this frame. And in this frame, I will also in full body mode at K and in last. Yes, cool. It's it work. Uh, and then in body part mode, I try to add something. Use, for example, animate handshake. And I can stay near with this uh, character. Um, and then try to animate inside inside this body. Hello. Yeah. And yes, we have this animation. It's very fast. It's very very fast creation creating animation. But now we have uh, more than this out, and we can change. Maybe change this. And I think delete this, not this. Check it. Yeah, it's work. Cool. Select and maybe I try to copy this. Yes, also again. <laughs> okay, we maybe need uh, zooming to, to this timeline to have and delete and take this and copy. Yes, and now we can check our new animation. Yes, cool. For uh, have more smooth, we can delete some some frames to interpolate. No, these frames and yeah, yeah, nice. Check it and maybe add some animation in outer game mode uh, in body part mode, for example. Add some animation for head and maybe for hip. Yeah, nice. And next, I don't know what we can make. Maybe some from fight. Okay, we add frame to all rig and then I think it also full body mode we can uh, add new pose and not uh, animator and I think not very natural but I try to make something yes And we copy this frame, play, and need it something like this.
Let's see. Okay. And check this one. Maybe add some speed and time this. And correct balance. Okay, nice. I think it's enough to next step. What's next? Uh, next, we select first animation and maybe before that we try to save. Uh, yes, I think it needs. Okay, it's save. And then we select first uh, camera and we can check this animation, yes, and then expert and uh, we select model expert and a wix not option because non option is only for static meshes alembic it's more um baked um, mesh animation in vertex position and we select a wix uh, it's more classical to any game engine like a uh, unity unreal uh we activate animations skinnet meshes uh, the select camera light and texture uh, you can use, uh, for example, only selected if you can have some uh, object on scene. I don't know something like this, and you want export only this on animation with the skin meshes. And you can select this fix names for Maya. Maya have some uh, rules, some standards to naming, and we fix some um, some issue for, for this in uh, bond names and you can select bake it's not an animation bake it's a bake uh, objects some objects to one big objects it's uh, good for scenes for loud if you expert to game engine for mobile game now it's no it's don't need for, for us and we select this this cool and expert Exporting. Export has been completed. Cool. And we select next camera. Export. Yes. Exporting. And export been completed. Cool. And we select uh, next. Exporting. Yeah. And now we have a three FBX files in our folder. And now we can go to uh, Tori. Uh, go from Tori to Unity and try use this animation with classical monoid system in unity yeah now we're in unity and we have uh, three fbx models we add this animation to unity yes it's first oh i don't select <laughs> this uh, this and uh, now we have uh, some objects in the scene but it's not a problem in this test, I won't transfer animation from this character to this. It's a classical Nixama, uh, Nixama model. Okay, and uh, what's next? I uh, need to set up uh, humanoid and apply. Uh, we can check this um, model. What's all right and this mapping. Uh, work correctly and done and next we go to animation uh, auto and check our animation you can see some some strange movements you need to set up this animation for example stop loop uh, root transform position y and maybe this uh, yes and maybe something else 
not. Yeah, I think it's all. And IK. And IK and apply. And then you can uh, check all settings with uh, Unity default. Uh, skin to mesh for test for test this with IK without IK. It's very strange. Okay. IK. Okay. And we open next. Next scene. And also use this. We need to switch to monoid. And then next. The name. Uh, loop. Loop. Uh, go to rigging. Monoid. Apply. And what's next? Maybe on these options we bake only this. I think yes. Yeah, we can try it to these actions. Uh, I think without without this. Yeah. And apply. And maybe rename first animation. Apply. Cool. Now we have a tree animation. Uh, you can check on the animation file. Uh, with Unity model, yes, it's work. And then in our test, we create a new scene, uh, and on this new scene, we add uh, Y board from Nixamo, and then uh, I want to use timeline to create uh, animation from clips in Twerry, or you can use animation or animate use animator to set up a uh, state machine and what's next I think you can create timeline uh, why about timeline uh, maybe lock and add new animation clip uh, this and check it yeah it's work and it's perfect you can uh, check uh, this foot IK sometimes need to ch check out and we can uh, add some looping and then oh, I can uh, add some time to this timeline frame rate animation I'm, ah, simple zoom with with mouse cool and we add new animation clip our handshake with blend uh, yes yeah cool and maybe add this and we add this animation maybe add some looping and fine and press play yeah and shake and idle idle and fight yeah cool nice and you can uh, use animation from Twerry with simply by humanoid system and uh, use with other clips from a Unity animation clips library from Asset Store library and blend between any clips from Tori from other <laughs> with your clips made it in uh, Mind this Max or Blender or Cinema 4D and create you a final scene, final logic in, in Unity. Uh, for example, also we can try to create state machine and select y bot uh, move this animation uh, and we can open this state machine with first animation second animation next animation and create transition and set up maybe some uh, logic for transition between these and use some actions to this New bull and uh, for example new bull. I and this foot IK you need set up foot IK and you can check animation with loops yes and we can try to uh, press play uh, open animator uh, yes and we can check this transition activate transition to check and 
Yeah, it's raw. Cool. Need add. Oh. Need add transition. Ah, I, I cannot uh, edit this runtime, maybe. Yes. Back. For example, automatically. Yeah, it's all work, and we have a half hour and create a tree animation in Tori, then uh, export to Unity, set up with Humanoid system, and using it. Yeah, cool. Thank you. I think it's all, and try to use Tori for your game, for your Unity or Unreal projects, and yeah, have a good day, night, time, goodbye.